This is the World on Water for May 10th. Here are some of the highlights of what happened in sailing around the world in the last seven days. You're watching the unveiling of the all new Swan 36. San Francisco's Sail GP was on and the Aussies won. Again. Tom Slingsley beat Nathan Outreach in the last race. The foiling kites had their finals on Lake Garda. The Dragons finished in Cascais. The Ineos Team UK camp in Spain. The Antigua Sailing Week, race day four. Now first up this week, it's over to San Francisco Bay and it's practice time for the Sail GP. And this spectacular footage is from John Nabba's video.
now going into the first day of the final series. The top guys are now in one fleet together and it's going to be a tough fight for the top 10. In the finals, the secret is sure you have to have a good start because now you have uh, all the top guys around you, everyone knows how to start and everyone wants to be first at the start line and if you're in the pack or a little bit behind, uh, you will lose already. It's really important to get from the start line till the end 100% and yeah, try to, to fight your places up to the podium. Let's go for racing! Woo! Let's do this! It will be awesome! Morning, See you on the water! Yeah. Uh, we had a good day, we had uh, four races, probably the tightest racing I think I've ever done in foiling. It was just incredible, insane. With the, obviously the feature of the cliffs on the right hand side, it means that everyone's trying to get out to the right. Super, super close. I think my and Nico's kites didn't stop touching for the whole one of lap, it was just insane. Um, I had a really good, good day, um, messed up one of the races, got pinched out to the left hand side and couldn't come back. Uh, but yeah, otherwise I got one, two, three. Um, joint points with my teammate Oli um, and only four behind Nico. So going tomorrow, still super tight points and everything to play for. We'll see what happens and I'm going to give it my best and hopefully end up on top. championship just finished. We did uh, a lot of regatta almost every day. Uh, we enjoy also uh, the second day the format uh, uh, with the relay. So we had uh, 22 teams uh, did a great regatta on, um, on a particular format with the relay. So it was the first official test event and all the riders uh, enjoyed it. So I think it's been a great success an entire week. I'm really happy to come on the first place. I felt really fast sometimes and and the starts are insane those days. We were a fleet of 30 people in the Gulf Fleet and it was crazy to see everyone, the crowd coming and, and starting all together. I don't know, I'm just really excited just knowing that all the hard work paid off and I made it another year. I think it was one of the most challenging regattas that I've been to. Um, I had so much fun. It was so cool to see so many more girls out. Um, and I'm really excited to see how next year will be. And the gold medal goes to Nicolas
very excited to be here in Qashqais. I uh, started sailing uh, with my uh, dad, but now uh, I sail with uh, three women crew and, um, and Chico. And we're very excited to be here. The weather is great. Uh, it's a very tough competition, which makes it even more fun to participate in this King Juan Carlos uh, trophy. And uh, yeah, we're ready to, uh, to do our best out on the water. We'll do all best. Excited for the last couple of days of racing. We're gonna go hard. We keep up the pace and improve every day. I can't wait to go for a race. We are having a bit of a difficult uh, regatta here ourselves. We're up and down a lot. Uh, we have some very good races and some very bad races. Sometimes we have good speed, sometimes not at all. This morning we had very good speed and we were also a bit lucky. And uh, so we won this morning and we were second in the first day somewhere. But we've also had very bad results, so it's, it, it's up and down a lot. And, uh, it's not finished yet, so maybe we have a chance. So we have a very exciting Juan Carlos Trophy here in Qashqais and before the last day we have still five persons who can win the whole regatta because uh, we had very strong competition field here and uh, six races, six different winners and this regatta is one of the legs of the European Cup and the finals will be in Palma in November but before that there will be Highlight of the season, it will be a 90 years Jubilee Regatta in San Rima. And I invite all the Dragon Sailors to attend this exciting event. It was great to be back in Qashqais uh, with the team, Luis Racing Team, here in the Grand Prix, the Juan Carlos Cup. And uh, the week got off to a good start. Uh, we got to the top of the leaderboard, but then we faced some uh, snakes and ladders and we, we dropped down. We had a black flag, as you know, yesterday. And so coming into today, you know, it was really a day to fight, to fight hard. It was great to finish a regatta with these wonderful conditions, these Qashqai's conditions. And we're very proud and uh, uh, an honor to be in the company of so many sailors who before have won uh, this trophy. So very pleased. We've been down here for uh, three months now um, in Marmanor and our whole thought process when we came down here was to 
try and maximise our time with our test boat T5. The breeze is super settled when it comes out of the, uh, the sea breeze direction and, and really flat water so we've just been able to maximise our time out on the water and, and really make use of, of the time we've had. Like in these campaigns, uh, the, the biggest issues are the amount of time you've got. Having three months with very few missed sailing days is absolutely massive. If we, if we have twice the sailing days, we get twice as much done, so it's, it's sort of pretty, pretty simple. It is hard work, particularly for the you know the shore guys. And to keep a boat like that as technical as that going for so long, you know, requires a lot of hours in the shed. And then for the rest of us, it has, it's been some hard, hard, long hours, but at the same time, it's massively rewarding because we can see the gains that we're making and that it's worth it. Yeah, for sure, looking forward to seeing the family. You know, it's been quite a, uh, a stint away. The flip side of that is, is when we are here, you can, you know, you can really focus in on the, the job at hand. I think, you know, we've got a great team here. It, when, you, when you're getting a lot achieved, you, you don't mind putting the hours in, that's for sure. Now one big thing when you, you do take your uh, your team on tour is, is where you go to and, and a lot of the experience we had and it being so positive down here is, is due to the fantastic reception we have had from the locals. It's been absolutely fantastic and, and thank you for everyone for, uh, for supporting us and making our life down here so easy. Here we are on board Maiden and we've just sailed into the Hareki Gulf. It is such an honour and a privilege to have Steinlager and Lion join us out here. And it's quite emotional being a Kiwi sailing back here and home so much history with all these three boats. And to be here with such an awesome international crew of the next wave of sailors, women sailors coming in, into the yachting uh, world, it is absolutely amazing. We've had an epic voyage, six days from Sydney, all downwind, big waves, and was all sailing. We just had a moment before the girls from Auckland Girls Grandma sung for us on Lion New Zealand. And it was a beautiful song. I actually, I was in tears because it's so cool that this legendary boat has got girls on it out here doing their thing and hopefully they can have some of the same life experiences as what we're all having in our, in our journey around the world. So we're here on Steinlager 2 welcoming in uh, Maiden and we're here with a bunch of um, amazing girls who are the future of sailing. It's an absolute honour to be out here today on Lion New Zealand. Uh, we're welcoming Maiden in alongside uh, us as also Steinlager and it's just fantastic to see what these ladies are doing here and you know really inspiring the generation of tomorrow so it's fantastic to see them here in Auckland and a huge big welcome to them and uh, we're looking forward to seeing them on the dock. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, 30 years later, Maiden is back, my home city of Auckland, and it's fantastic that she's back. I sailed here 30 years ago as rigor. We won the leg coming into New Zealand. It was like 3 in the morning when everyone came down to the docks, and now that Maiden's sailing around the world raising money for girls in education, which is a cause that I've been passionate about for the last 30 years. I think it's brilliant, but uh, yeah, it's nice to see the old girl back in town. We just had our welcoming ceremony. It's just crazy. It was just the most emotional thing we've ever sat through and been part of. It was amazing. But then just to get here to Auckland, it's just crazy. It's it's such a sailing city. I know it's called the city of sails, but now I realise it's like every man and his dog knows about sailing, knows about Maine. And the other night, the girls went out and they had a guy coming up with the Instagram going, "Oh my God, this is your girls. This is your girls. This is crazy." So I'm just so happy to be here. It is such a cool city and just made to feel so welcome and people get sailing here. You get it, it's awesome. KPMG used to kill boat race day and after a lay day break, Mother Nature came back with a vengeance. Lots of wind opened up great options for planing yachts like the VO65 Amber Sail. We went out for a blast with these friendly Lithuanians. It was an all day battle with the FAR 115 Sajana and in the morning race, Amber Sail managed to beat them over the line. Later on in race two, however, the tables turned and Team Sajana got home first. It's been a gruelling day of racing that has helped to sharpen the results at the top of each racing class. Today we've, we've, we've been pretty happy because that was the first time when we physically beat Sajana. Youth to Keelboat sailor Janella King was on Sajana today. Hopefully, Youth Tequila will provide a lot of opportunities on bigger boats for students and the youths, the local youths and whatnot. There is now just one day left for the still hopeful to improve their final tally. There is an air of focus tonight as everyone preps for tomorrow's final battle.